Hi guys, James at Rampant Lion Reviews again for you today with another beer review. For this one we have something that should be really, really cool and I hope you guys enjoy this. For this one we are going to head to Russia for the very first time, my first ever Russian beer review that I'm doing for you. And I do know that the Russians do some awesome, awesome craft beers. A few years ago, Malmo Brewing Company in, uh, in Malmo in the south of Sweden, they held a Russian craft beer festival and the, you know the beers were really, really top notch. And this brewery were actually there but I wasn't quite sure of that at the time when I bought this beer. So this was one that I found when I was on was on my little trip to the Czech Republic and I just had to get this when I saw it. So for this one we're going to go to Yaroslavl which is about 275 kilometers to the northeast of Moscow and we're trying a beer from Plan B Brewery. This one's called the Cookie Monster. It comes in at 5.8% ABV and it is a brown ale so it should be a really interesting beer. The shop that I was in in Olomouc they had I think two or three of these different beers from Plan B but you know it was literally a case of I could only take one back this one was called Cookie Monster I used to love the Cookie Monster when I was young so I thought right that's the reason to get this one out of the other out of the three of them so why not eh that's what you have to do but really really cool to review my first Russian beer for you guys on the channel and I hope that you guys watching in Russia do enjoy my take on this beer so anyway as is usual with my reviews then I'll tell you a little bit about the brewery if you want to get straight to the tasting just fast forward all the usual links are in the description below that's the brewery website Link to my other reviews that hopefully I can do in the future from Plan B Brewery. Very first time I'm reviewing one of their beers. I have tried them before at the festival, like I said. Hopefully I can do review more in the near future. There's all the usual social media. If you want to see more beer reviews, do please consider subscribing to the channel. The whole channel, of course, has a geography-based tagging system, so you can go into the homepage and search for beer based on country, city, state, county, prefecture, whatever it is you're interested in. Do check out the playlists of beers from different countries. I will make one for the Russian beers, and hopefully I can add more to that in the fairly near future and as always please do get in touch and let me know some of the other beers and breweries that you guys would like to see me review it's always great to hear from you guys that are watching the videos and the support that you show the channel is hugely appreciated and those of you watching in Russia do in particular let me know about some of the other Russian breweries that I can that I can check out I would love to get over there and visit sometime and you know it'd be good to have a good list of breweries to go through but anyway to tell you a little bit about Plan B Brewery then so Plan B Brewery as I mentioned before are based in Yaroslav well, this is actually one of the oldest cities in Russia. It's got a history that goes back over a thousand years, but you'll find it about 275 kilometers to the northeast of Moscow, apparently. It's in the, what they call the Golden Circle of ancient cities in Russia, and the pictures of it look, ab like, look just look absolutely beautiful. It's got some really lovely old architecture in there. But the Plan B Brewery was founded back in 2012 by Dmitry Gorov and Sergei Beryozkin, uh, and both of these guys had actually met in one of the local bars in the city. But the main brewer for the company is Sergei, who was a home brewer that turned professional. He taught himself using American brewing websites, and apparently his favourite style of beer is the Imperial Stout, simply because of how diverse that style you can be you know you can get sweet ones you can get roasted ones you can add different things to it like chili imperial stouts and all that he just simply loves the diversity that you have within that imperial stout style while Dimitri on the other hand he was the director of a dye company before he decided to move into brewing and found his own company but another owner uh, Vladimir Chernomats he joined the brewery a little bit later on and he came from a background in economics and he's really helped them expand the business side of their operations actually but the the brewery also run a Pivoteca, which isn't too far from the, the centre of the city by the looks of the map, and there they sell their beers on tap and other craft breweries beers as well. They had 32 different taps uh, listed on the on their Facebook page and things like that, but the Pivoteca is run primarily by Dimitri Bugholtz, who is a former engineer. He apparently used to build railway carriages, one of the more unusual jobs I've heard uh, someone having within the craft beer industry, but he joined the company as a bartender, but he's also been trained to brew beer by Sergei. But for the first few years, the beer from Plan B Brewery was brewed by Sergei at other breweries. They were doing it through contract brewing and they were producing around 30,000 litres of beer per month. But in 2018, this year, they're actually working to build their own brewery, which hopefully will open by the end of 2018 or sometime in early 2019. But the idea behind the name Plan B is to drink unusual beer. They say that Plan A is the sort of yellow fizzy laggers, while Plan B is the more interesting kind of tasty um, craft beers. So, uh, you know, that's all you really need to know about the brewery to be honest the bar if you look at the pictures of it looks very very nice I'll put the Facebook page for them in the description below and you can have a look at that for yourself they do have an Instagram that you can follow of course for us 
watching in Europe and things like that and, uh, and watching further afield it will be quite unusual to come across a Russian brewery but these guys do some pretty damn good beers from what I remember of the festival and uh, it's one that you definitely want to check out. It was really cool that I was able to find this and like I say I really hope that I can go and visit Russia and try uh, some of their craft beers. That would be an absolutely awesome uh, trip to make but a special thank you as well to Dimitri Bugholz who messaged me through the Facebook page and uh, gave me all the information on this brewery. That was very cool of him because obviously it's very difficult to find information and because all of it's in Russian basically and I've only done one Russian class at university so I can read the Cyrillic, I know a few kind of words and things like that and how to say very simple things but there was no way I'd be able to read these for myself so a huge thank you to Dimitri for giving me all this information on the brewery but that's all you need to know just now as always the brewery website's in the description below and you can check out their Facebook page and stuff like that but let's get on to the actual tasting of this beer itself so like I said to you this one is a 5.8% brown ale there you can see the Cookie Monster being Pac-Man with these little cookies there very very nicely presented it tells you a little bit about the beer on the side there there of course is the import sticker Russian beer you know is very difficult for us to get in uh, within the European Union because you know there's just there's no trade deal with Russia unfortunately that would be really cool if they did that because then we could drink lots of Russian craft beers plain bottle cap on this one um, but yeah nicely presented beer this like I say 5.8% 30 IBUs um, I'll put this there for you as well just in case any of you want to scan that planbrew.ru so you can scan the little QR code there but without further ado then let's get it out and we'll get on with the taste and I'm really interested to try this beer so yeah let's get it out and into the glass as you could see a little bit of smoke on the opening there and we'll see how we get on with this one as you open it up you can smell some really nice sort of bready and biscuity brown sugars coming out of the beer smells really really good actually this is a style of beer that I really enjoy you know it was Brooklyn Brown that really got me into the sort of American type brown ales but as you can see with this one this has poured a really nice dark mahogany colour if I shine the light through this it does become a little bit more of a sort of dark chestnut colour in fact, to be honest, I'll go with that. It's a nice dark sort of chestnut colour. It's got. If you put the light through it, it becomes a nice sort of dark ruby red. But as you can see, there's a solid kind of half finger or so of a frothy kind of beige, dark, sort of medium beige head on this one. That's fading away just to be a very thin kind of foamy layer there, but you can see about half a finger or so just fading away. Quite a few big bubbles, one or two big bubbles sticking towards the side of the glass there, and a few little ones heading up towards the bottom of that head there, but you know, overall it does look really, really quite nice. Pretty much as you would expect for a brown ale. So let's take a closer look at the aroma then and just see how we get on with this one. Oh, that's really interesting. This beer's got a really kind of quite interesting bready base to it. There's quite a bit of nutty character to this one, so pay attention to that as well. But there's a good bit of brown bread in there. It almost smells cakey, to be honest. It's almost like a nut cake or something like that. But there's a lot of nutty character in there. Some big, um, lovely kind of cakey notes to it. A little bit of brown bread, but definitely some you know, caramel, toffee, there's biscuit in there too, it's got a nice brown sugar note to it, this beer. Yeah, lots of brown sugars in it. Sweet caramel, like I was saying. It's The, the malt base is a good mixture between kind of sweet and toasted, I would say. You can smell there's a little touch of an earthy hop to this one, and when you sugar the beer up, you can pick out a little bit of a kind of red fruity note. There's a kind of figgy kind of flavour to this one. It's almost got a little bit of a kind of slightly candy um, strawberry flavour to it I would say. But mainly a sort of figgy note to it. But it smells really good this one. It's very very cakey. It actually kind of reminds me of some of these um, these you know these Omnipolo beers to be honest. The Omnipolo beers from Sweden with the, the things added to it. But maybe that's why it's called the Cookie Monster. Maybe they wanted it to kind of taste and smell uh, like chocolate chip cookies or something like that. That's probably the idea to be honest. But it smells really nice. So as I always say, take a little bit of time and enjoy the aroma of the beer before you get stuck into it. But let's have a taste of this one now. So this one is the Cookie Monster, a brown ale at 5.8% from the Plan B, Plan B Brewery in Yaroslavl in Russia. My very first Russian beer review for you guys here on the channel. Zadravia, if that's the right word to say. Cheers. Yeah. That's a nice beer. You know, um, for a 5.8% brown ale, 
it, it's really quite flavourful. I mean, normally the brown ales, the ones that, to be honest, the brown ales that I've tried, that have had um, the this kind of level of flavour in them, they've always been, you know, the sort of eight, nine percent ones. So this one's actually remarkably low in alcohol um, for the amount of flavour that it's got. I will say that about this beer. Yeah, this one's really interesting, and it's one of the funny things to be honest, because um, I'm not sure if it's true, but there was always that kind of rumour, if you like, that in Russia, anything below 10% was always regarded as a soft drink by law, and of course you've got all this thing, you know, Russian vodka and all of this, a lot of people, you know, Russia, um, Russia has that kind of um, crazy reputation, but I've always found, I've worked with Russians before, and they're, they're such lovely, lovely people, and um, but they are, you know, they are absolutely crazy in, in the best way, they are like really funny and really crazy and very, very nice, it's one of these things, so it's quite funny that they've got a craft beer like this that's really pretty good, but it's quite low in alcohol, it's kind of ironic in a way. But yeah, that's a good beer. If you like brown ales, I think you'll definitely enjoy this one. If you're comparing it to European beers, probably um, this one, it, it's quite similar to some of the things that you're going to get from uh, from Omnipoyo. If you have like um, cookie stouts and things like that, it's it's kind of similar to that, but it's, it's, it is more of a brown ale, which is what you'd expect. It's got a little bit more kind of caramelly sweetness to it, but make no mistake. This is a good beer, and like I was saying to you, if you you know if you go to a Russian craft beer festival, you will not be disappointed by the quality of beers that they're making. Some of the stuff is really good. The IPAs, the stouts, everything. But yeah, really nice this one. So yeah, with this beer, you can feel there's a little bit of a kind of brown bread. You know, it just kind of underpins this beer. That blankets the middle of your tongue. On top of that. You've got a really kind of quite um, strong biscuity flavour. I mean, it's it's almost it is almost a little bit like cookie dough. That's kind of sitting there in the middle of your palate too. There's almost a little bit of a there's there's quite a bit of a nutty character to this one. But right in the middle of the palate, it it really does taste a bit like cake. This beer, right in the middle of your mouth, um, you right in the middle of your tongue. There's this nice kind of almost nut cakey flavour to the beer, which is really is just lovely. Um, there's a bit of a a sweet caramel note to this one, um, maybe a little bit of toffee, but mainly it's the cakey flavours and things that are sitting there. And uh, there's a little bit of that bready note, like I was saying as well. It does have a little touch of a grainy note, but there's some really nice nutty flavours kind of underpinning this beer too, which is, is good. I mean, as I say, a big thumbs up to uh, to Plan B Brewery for this one. They've produced a really nice brownie, and this is a style, to be honest, that you don't see all that much of these days. So it's cool to find a, a really good one from Russia. And as I say, I really enjoy this beer. The Brooklyn Brown was one of the, my kind of very early craft beer experiences. So it's a little bit nostalgic for me. But this is really good. Um, on the hoppy side of things then, if you move out towards the back corners of your palate there, a little bit of earthiness there, very smooth actually. As you come further forward along the sides of the tongue, that earthiness just spreads forward a little bit around the front curve of the tongue. It's a little bit lighter and grassy. There's maybe a little, very slight touch of a herbal quality there um, on the sides of the tongue as well. But then if you just go behind the front curve of the palate, that's where you get that little nice oily bubble where some juicy fruity esters are coming out of the beer. For me, the fruity side of this beer is definitely just a little bit of a, a very slight kind of figgy flavour. It's just got a little touch of a kind of almost candied red fruit note to it. That kind of lingers into the aftertaste. Some of the earthy hop lingers into the aftertaste as well, but mainly the flavour that dominates this beer is that nice big kind of nutty cakey flavour that I was talking about. It really is um, very, very nice. So, you know, if, if you enjoy the, I, I think if you enjoy the Omnipoyo beers from uh, from Stockholm in Sweden, this one is quite comparable to those. It really has that nice flavourful, uh, that flavourful character to it, but really good brown ale this one. It's at 5.8%. To have that much flavour, to me, that's quite impressive. So well done to the guys at Plan B Brewery on this one. But yeah, really, 
it, it is nice. Have a go at this beer for yourself. It really is pretty good. That This beer is as good as some of the American and European um, brown ales that you're going to come across and that's not a surprise compared to the when you consider when if you've actually tried the Russian craft beers as I say they are very good Poland is another country that has really good craft beers you know and um, Greece it really and Brazil of course as well you know there's countries that are doing some really really good things and it's just countries that you've not kind of thought of that would do good craft beer before and Russia certainly are kind of up there and um, with all the other countries that are going around as, as I say it's just unfortunate that we don't get to try a lot of different Russian beers the Russian beers don't make it outside of Russia all that often from what I gather so I was very lucky to get this in the Czech Republic like I said but have a go at it for yourself in terms of the mouthfeel then definitely a mid-bodied beer carbonation is kind of quite smooth on this one Yeah, smooth carbonation to this beer. Nice little bit of an oily mouth feel to this one. Um, the malt base is nice and smooth, but it's also balanced out by quite a bit of sweetness, to be honest. But it's not overly sweet. It's just nicely... It's just got a nice little touch of sweetness there. The hops are very smooth, and there's a little bit of a juicy, fruity note to this beer as well. But overall, you know... Really nice beer. I love a brown. I love a good brown ale. This one to me is up there with a lot of the good brown ales that I've tried before uh, from different countries, from America, from Europe, and things like that. And as I say, the standard standard of the Russian craft beers is very very good. So get have a go of this beer if you get the chance. Hopefully, I can try some more beers from these guys in the fairly near future. That's just the unfortunate thing with Russian beers. Like I say, they are very difficult to get a hold of. But I really hope I can go and visit Russia at some point. It'd be really cool to go around and try all the different craft breweries there but it's a huge country and uh, you know visas and things can be a bit of a pain but I would absolutely love to go to Russia and try a lot of the different craft beers but have a go at this one for yourself if you get the chance uh, I've certainly enjoyed it and you know the Cookie Monster thing it is a little bit of a novelty I really like that about this beer but let's leave it at that a really interesting brown ale and from a country that you normally aren't able to get beers from so the Cookie Monster from Plan B Brewery in Yaroslavl in Russia let's leave it at that so once again thank you for watching my beer reviews uh, Spasiba, uh, really cool to review my first Russian beer for you guys here on the channel. As always, check out my social media and until the next time, please like, subscribe, share, all the usual YouTube stuff. Let me know your own thoughts on this beer in the comment section below. Let me know some other Russian beers and breweries that I should have a look at. I'd love to have a list when I actually do make it out to Russia. That would be an awesome thing and hopefully I can get a hold of some more in the fairly near future for you. You know, it's a shame that it takes about five years for me to be able to review a Russian beer for you. Hopefully, Russian beer becomes a little bit uh, more of Available. But thank you again for watching and I will catch you guys very soon. The Cookie Monster Brown Ale from the Plan B Brewery in Yaroslavl in Russia. Thank you once again to Dimitri for giving me all the information on this brewery. Zodra, eh, Zadravia.